Um, so I have my data according to the business uh, business units. Uh, again, this is completely responsive. So if you make a small, if you make the visual completely narrow, um, this will shrink into one chart, but this chart still represents um, comparison to plan. So I immediately understand something that was not obvious from the table alone, right? But here it is, it is immediate. The insight into this is immediate. We do have a problem with the variables. Uh, in this business unit, it's 1.9 million below the plan, right? So problem here, also problem on, on our leading uh, business units um, and, and, and so on, right? So these, these insights are immediately available. But if you make it, uh, if you make the visual wider, uh, then people will have more options like sorting, uh, especially if there are lots of categories in, in your table, sorting, ascending or descending by the variance or by relative variance or, you know, um, the, the growth rates or whatever you have, you have in the data. Uh, you can also visualize this in a, in a different way with a waterfall chart and adds maybe maybe even adds some things that are not here in in the table so my table does not contain uh, the grain total right which is typically what you would see you would want to see or present so you simply click show grand total and the grand total is presented uh in the visual as well now if this was sales this would be great but what if these were costs some sort of expenses, okay? If you have expenses that are uh, greater than plan um, or previous year, actually here it says previous year. So um, Zebra BI actually understands the, the typical business scenarios like actual previous year plan and so on. So, so it reads the data it reads the data fields, the, the, the columns from your source data, and then it tries to assign it to certain buckets and you can always uh, manually um, um, reassign the, the field. You simply move it. So this is my plan. I move it here uh, just to make sure that uh, this is my, my plan. Of course, you can also rename any columns. This can be a plan. This can be whatever plan 2000. 22 and so on simply simply rename it okay um all right uh of course you can also move the columns around so in, in a couple of you know in a couple of clicks uh you have a business analysis that is immediately understandable uh and hopefully also actionable especially when you add comments to that